Gulf Islands. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and happy International Women's Day to all of us in the House of Commons. We have now made history as of October 2020. There are 100 women to celebrate in our parliament across all party lines. I want to celebrate today the Daughters of the Vote. It was only four years ago that Daughters of the Vote first occupied the center block chamber in person. They're in Ottawa virtually now. And let's celebrate across party lines the honorable member for none of it, who was as a daughter of the vote just four years ago and now sits in that place and does this chamber such honor. I want to celebrate our colleague, the first woman minister for finance, celebrating a minister for finance at long last, a woman. And now we also celebrate some former colleagues. I want to celebrate my friend, the Honorable Pat Carney, who served as a cabinet minister, who negotiated the first Atlantic Accord, negotiated the first free trade agreement, and is now one of my constituents. Thank you all. Let's hold each other up and give daughters of the vote a future to look forward to with more women.